what is the next step to healing after acceptance? If you got my last video, we talked about accepting the reality of your past, that you were a child and you did not get your needs fulfilled. That it's not about blaming your parents, even though you can, but it's about facing the reality that your family is not the perfect family that was portrayed. Acceptance goes hand in hand with grieving, the fantasy of the mother you didn't get to have, the fantasy of the childhood you didn't get to have. The next step is grieving. And there are five stages to grief, and you already started working on one of them, which is acceptance. Let me go ahead and break down the rest. The next one is denial. And you've already been denying the reality of your childhood for as long as you can remember, but you had to do it to survive. As an adult, it's time to release that denial to move forward. Number two, bargaining. You've been bargaining with your mother your whole life, wishing and hoping that she would change, that things will be different between the two of you. Wishing that next time you see her, things will be different and constantly seeking her approval. The third one is anger. You may feel intense anger when you realize that you did not get what you needed as a child and how it has affected you severely as an adult. The fourth is depression. And you may feel intense sadness, letting go of the fantasy of the mother that you didn't get to have and the life that you didn't get to live. And even now as an adult, where you could have been, you may feel sad letting go of that love that you so desperately seek for. And it's okay. It's part of the process. During the grief stage, you may go back and forth between these stages of grief. Some of the things that you will grieve, mourning the loss of the fantasy, what type of mother you didn't get to have, what type of mother did you have now, and how does that make you feel? Mourning the child that you didn't get to be. What kind of child would you have been if you got your needs met? And what kind of child did you end up like? How does that make you feel? And mourning the life you didn't get to have. What kind of life did you wish you had right now? What kind of life did you end up with? And how does that make you feel? So this part of facing the reality and grieving may take some time. Healing your trauma in general takes time. If you are in your 20s or your 30s or your 40s or your 50s, and you're just not realizing that you have childhood trauma, then you got to think about all that time that, have, that has passed. And now the time that you need to heal, it's going to take time for you to get to a place where you are okay, but it's part of the process. So this is the second part of healing, which is dealing with grief. Stay tuned for my next video, where we're going to be talking about identifying your past and connecting it to your present. If you like this video, go ahead and like and subscribe and turn on notifications. And I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.